Ahoy, welcome back to a, another guide from Zerg on Broadside Gaming. So today we're going to do another look at the shade, but it's been tweaked a bit. So some of the stats have been up, um, some of the stats have been changed, some of the breakpoints are different. So I thought I'd update everyone with how things are looking at the moment. So this is once again the frontline uh, build. So this is not the assassination sneaky build, this is the frontline sort of getting in there, getting stuck in and just tearing the shit out of people. So, a quick look at the talents. Talents have not changed. It's still Bleak Vigor, Cruelty, Assassin, Vanish, Blood Drinker. And I know there is some controversy around Blood Drinker. But honestly, for a frontline build, this just keeps you in the fight. You don't need Spring Healed Assassin or Glade Runner. You don't need the movement speed. This entire build is based around being at the front smacking the shit out of things using cleave and high crit chance just to clear the board of everything and then cloak of mist so there are a few ways you can play this build uh we've got my got my old favorite which is sword and dagger moonfire bow so the traits you want on it at the moment oh traits and properties are Attack speed and block cost reduction changing over from crit and crit power. You actually you'll get more for your money. I know it seems weird, but you will get you know more bang for your buck with attack speed and block cost now instead of crit and crit power. And swift slaying with a moonfire bow. You want power versus inventory, power versus scaven with barrage. And for your charm. Power versus infantry, and crit power with concoction. Concoction just synergizes really well with this build. You know, there's a, there's a there's a shitty situation. You take whatever pot you've got, you get all three of them, and you can basically just mow through everything. And necklace never changes. Health, block cost reduction, bark skin, and obviously trinket. Curse resist and crit chance with shrapnel. Obviously, if you're running this on Kata, change the curse resist to stam recovery. So yeah, that is the, the first way you can play this, but there's also, uh, if you wanted to, you can go for the new, the newly added uh, Briar Javelin, which is, you'd want this one. So, power versus armor, power versus Skaven, but if you use that, you're going to want to change your charm over to armored and Skaven. Where's my one? There it is. So yeah, so same talent setup. It's literally if you switch it out to the javelin, power versus armor and power versus skaven, with power versus armor and power versus skaven. The, the javelin's really nice, and it is the highest uh, DPS weapon on monsters. So you can just tear the fuck out of monsters with this thing. If you've seen some of my live streams, uh, every time a monster appears, I just I pull the javelin out and melee attack them, and they melt. Which is hilarious. But also with this build, um, if you wanted to, you can use the spear. So you can use the open spear of this. And it doesn't change any of the stats apart from on the spear itself, which is crit, block cost reduction, and swift slaying. So you can, so if you saw the live stream the other night and I was talking about the double spear build, this is the double spear build. So just have a quick look over the talent skin, just so everyone sees what's going on. Bleak Vigor, Cruelty, Assassin, Vanish, Blood Drinker, Cloak of Mists. Pretty standard for the frontline build. And then Crit Chance, Block Cost, Swift Slaying. Power versus Armor, Power versus Skaven. Health, Block Cost, Bark Skin. Power versus Armor, Power versus Skaven and Concoction. Curse Resist, Crit Chance and Shrapnel. So yeah, it, it's, it, it works really well. I love the spear. The spear is a really nice weapon. It's not quite as good against armor as um, sword and dagger, but it's very fun to play with. So obviously, if you wanted to use the sword and dagger of this, you can. It's just drop it in. It's block cost, attack speed, swift slaying. And then you've got yourself a nice frontline build. So yeah, um... As I said, guys, this is not the, the sneaky, sneaky assassin build. This is uh, just getting stuck in front line, keeping your team pushing through, and just mowing through 
anything really this you can take on armor infantry specials whatever this is the jack of all trades getting used to the shade build and you are a lot tougher than you think you are just to remember to continuously dodge you know you may be slightly tougher but you're no bardin you're no bardin or foot knight you will get absolutely slaughtered if you take a halberd to the face but yeah hopefully um you know you've you've enjoyed this guide you've enjoyed the updates to it and anyway, let me know in the comments if there is anything else you'd like to see and i will be updating the assassin build as well so until next time guys thank you very much for watching i shall see you all again soon so see you later